Here are my top five picks for no code development tools in 2023, and we're going to start with Flutterflow. For a long time, Flutterflow has dominated, I would say, the mobile no code app development space. Um, but we can see here from the animation on their homepage that they've got aspirations for tablet and for desktop too. Um, if we scroll down, we can see that they provide a number of different templates so that you can dive right in and start learning their platform. Uh, let's have a quick look at pricing. Okay, so we've got a free plan and we've got around that $30 mark to uh, to download uh, your code uh, and basically make your, uh, your app usable. Um, next one we're going to look at is software. Uh, so software uh, occupies a space similar to Glide. We're going to come to Glide in a moment. Uh, and that space is one which is basically a UI builder that integrates in with external databases. Uh, so in this case, it being Airtable and Google Sheets, and you build a UI for your users uh, with the software app. Uh, we can see that they were the Golden Kitty winner uh, in 2021 and that they also provide a number of getting started templates um, to get you going. And then I had noticed earlier, yes, here we go, they have REST APIs coming soon. So this may well be a very good option for integrating in with a bubble database in the future. We'll just have to see whether the API capabilities are up to that. Um, we're then going to move on to Retool. Uh, and you can see Retool looks immensely professional. Uh, if you're building something for a business client, uh, and it's, it's basically dashboard based, then Retool uh, looks very, very comprehensive and very helpful. Uh, so you have a number of components. Uh, and I'd say one of the biggest advantages of Retool is just the breadth of integrations that are, are available and are baked into it, including a real range of database tools, uh, different ways that you can store your data and retrieve data. Um, I would say that on the no code side, uh, Retool uh, will only get you so far, uh, and then there is definitely a low code or fully coded um, part of it, as you can see here with making your own uh, queries uh, to your database um, tool. Um, but like I say, it looks fantastic and I've been watching Retool for a while now. Let's have a quick look at their pricing. Uh, okay, so they have pricing per user. I think that stands out from the offerings we've looked at so far. Um, so I would say that's probably more towards like an enterprise, uh, enterprise niche or, or need. Um, Right, then we're moving on to Glide. Now Glide has been uh, allowing developers, no-code app creators to, to make really simple and really quick uh, mobile apps uh, for many, many years now. Um, and uh, what else can we pull out here? So we can see again, it's, it's a great way of, of building a dashboard or for data entry into an, on like an iPad or a mobile device. Um, we can see now that they've got many different ways that you can import data. Uh, you can tune the uh, app's interface, you can create workflows, and you can publish to an app store. Again, if you're a bubble developer and you're frustrated that you can't export your app to a, a native iOS or Android, um, uh, uh, upload to, to those app stores, uh, then Glide is definitely worth exploring. But I'd say that uh, if you're used to the, the freedom of a blank canvas that you get with Bubble, you might find uh, Glide a little bit restricting. Uh, and last but not least, uh, of course, uh, Bubble. Uh, that is our bread and butter here at Plant No Code. Um, we think that Bubble is a fantastic all-round development tool for web apps. Uh, like I mentioned only a few moments ago, Bubble, uh, although you can use wrappers, there are services that basically uh, wrap your website in some native iOS or Android code. Uh, you can't make an, like a fully proper 100% native uh, mobile app, although it has been rumored now for several years that that is a feature that they are working on. Um, but yeah, like I say, if you're building a web app, I don't think you can go wrong with Bubble. Uh, if you find the learning curve a little bit difficult, you can use our website uh, and our YouTube channel. We've got over 100 Bubble tutorials on there. Uh, and if you want a little bit of one-to-one -one help, we also provide uh, Bubble coaching. All of that can be booked through our website, planetnocode.com. Uh, if we just hop on to Bubble pricing, um, so Bubble recently went through a shift with their pricing. Uh, effectively, that meant that their, uh, their starter pay plan, the one that you'd really need in order to launch your app, uh, that went up 
from uh, $29 to $32. But they've also introduced something called workload units. Uh, and that forms like a, a usage measurement uh, for when you're building apps a bubble. Uh, and it has meant that some apps, would, I would say, would no longer be viable. For example, an app that is analytics based, if you're tracking every single thing like page views on another website, uh, you're going to really quickly rack up workload units. Uh, but I'd still say that there is a, a huge range of apps that you can create a bubble. Uh, and as long as you uh, un come to understand some of the best practices and the workflow optimization tips that they've shared, the other um, bubble uh, content creators like myself, Planet No Code, other ones on YouTube are sharing, uh, you should find that it is still a really affordable and versatile option. So, uh, that's a roundup of what I think are some of the best uh, no-code development tools on the market in 2023. If you think I've missed any, please leave a comment below. I'd love to be able to check them out and maybe do a follow-up video.